All right, this is my out with the old, in with the new video. Um, I got a message asking me how my natural hair journey thing was going. It's going okay. It's not going wonderful, but I'm working with it. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been wearing it in a, in a I think a cute little puff but um we've been moving into a new office at my job so all this week it's been a lot of back and forth hectic running around getting stuff done so by the end of this week natural me turned into a natural mess so I had to just tie it up for this video and then while this video is uploading I'm gonna be washing it and conditioning it and all that good stuff but I cleaned out my bathroom vanity and I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna give away. I'm gonna give it to my sister because she's relaxed and loving it and beautiful so she can have all this stuff. A haul. I'm gonna give her this old bag stuff. My oil sheens. I love oil sheen. Especially this one. I love my surplus oil sheen. The pink, it smells good. That's why I like this so much but they're both have the um, mineral oil so and now that I know more about the products I know why they behave the way they behave in my hair these were always my indicators that it was time for me to get a new relaxer even when I had you know you can see the new girl coming in but if these didn't behave right all the way down to the root it was time to get a relaxer now I know why they didn't behave right because the stuff that's in them wasn't good for me to be using on them the natural hat was coming in, so now I know why. So I'm gonna give her these and let her have them. She wants them. And I got other like shampoos and stuff in here, spritzes, all kind of stuff. All right, I have this right here. It's actually pretty good. It's Soft Sheen Carson's Optimum Oil Therapy. It has coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and jojoba oil. It's a shine booster, fresh control. It's actually pretty good. I just didn't like it on my hair. And when I had my little niece over and I did her little hair, I put it on hers and it worked really well. So I'm putting this in with little scrunchies. I'm putting this in the bag. So this is for my niece. It's not a bad thing though. It, it, it worked well on her hair. I'm giving her that. Um, so. My sister is getting a buttload of stuff. She shouldn't have to buy anything for a long time. Um, now, the stuff that I'm replacing it with, um, I really like this shampoo. It's um, Strength of Nature Perfected Mega Growth and it's Growth Stimulant Shampoo. Smells wonderful. Gives you a little tingly feeling. And um, I really like it really 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 and then I have the growth lotion I like it too but you only need to use like maybe a dime size because it's really really greasy it's oily it's got all these different natural oils in it and it's, it's, it's greasy but no mineral oil and no petroleum I'm really looking out for those and, and some other stuff that I don't want but this is pretty good and I'm really in the product line, so if I see something and it's on a line of products, I try to get it all and use it. So I actually picked up the jar of conditioner too, and I bought it, used it once, don't like it. And it has petroleum and mineral oil in it, and I didn't even really bother to look at it when I got it, because the shampoo and the growth lotion were both really, really good. So I'm just thinking, okay, I'm going to get the conditioner too, and it's, it's going to be fabulous. And then I got it home and used it and read the jar and said, oh no. So I won't be using this again, but I will be using the shampoo and the buffalo. What else got? I have Organics Maximum Strength Extra Virgin Olive Oil Moisturizing Growth Lotion. This is really, really good. doesn't have a whole lot of bad stuff in it. Do, 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 do. And like the alcohol that's in it is like listed like very, very last on the list. So I'm thinking this is going to be okay. I'm avoiding everything with mineral oil and petroleum in it. So 
what else? Oh yeah, Elastic QP. I have fell in love with their products. The Mango Butter Moisturizer is really good. When you first use it, it sort of looks like a bunch of white product build up. But after a minute or so, it, it goes away and you can feel the moisture in it and it's not greasy. So I really like that. I used the Design Foam when I was wearing my little curly style because it would really hold the curls into my in my relaxed hair. So I like that. And this is the H2 Leave-In. Makes my hair real soft. This is what I used to correct what this did to me. <laughs> Cause this stuff when I used it, my hair was like hella hard afterwards. So this actually corrected that. So this one is a keeper. Um, I got Shea Butter Softening Hair and Scalp Lotion. Um, you see, I like creamy stuff. I got the growth lotions and this. This stuff is replacing that oil sheen that I was in love with because it's, it's doing the same thing that the oil sheen was doing for me. So, I got me some jojoba oil for my hot oil treatments. I've used it twice. I love it. And, silly me, when you got the um, mega growth, mega thick growth oil. And I, I got it because I used some before and I loved it so much. Then got home and got to digging through my stuff and realized I still had this from before. The only difference is this is the anti-itch. I was using it when I was wearing my braids and I really, really liked it. So I was like, okay, let me snatch another one because I don't have any more. And got home and realized I did. So now I just have two. One anti-itch, one regular. Um, and this is Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. This is a head to toe type thing. And I've used this before, but I used it on my legs. I used it on my body. It was like an after bath um, body oil. But you can also use it for your hair. And it's got really, really yummy stuff in it. And it smells like baby oil. So I hope that smell is no indicator that it may not be what it says. Because if it smells like baby oil, could possibly be some mineral oil but I'm hoping that's just the scent because mineral oil is not listed on the ingredient list so they better not be lying because I'm gonna be mad um, so that's what I'm using now but that's all I have and hair journey is going pretty good I, um, still making my to the beach shop. Um, think about going to the barbershop in the morning, but I don't know yet. That's one of my hurdles I have to jump over. I jumped over one big hurdle. I got my ears pierced. This has nothing to do with my hair, but I have always said I wasn't going to get my ears pierced because my earlobes are like hella, hella thick, and I was scared to get them pierced and I've always felt like if I got them pierced they were going to swell up and get even fatter than they already are but they didn't I got the bit of studs I just got them done last Saturday so um I got another five weeks to keep the studs in and I went on an earring shopping spree let me tell you so and this little tidbit is for hubby because I know he's going to watch this video he had always said he wanted me to get my ears pierced because he sees earrings and he always wants to buy me earrings. Okay, well now you can. You can. And I expect to see some. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I'm gone. I'm going to let this video upload and I'm going to wash my hair. Bye-bye.